if you want to maximize sales and build customer loyalty, a well-designed post-purchase flow is key. My name is Emil Dingemans and I'm the owner of Magisonly, an e-commerce retention marketing agency. And in today's video, I'll share with you the exact formula that we use for our own clients to build a high converting post-purchase flow inside Klaviyo. So let's get straight to my computer and I'll show you the formula. So what is a post-purchase flow and why do you need it? So a post-purchase flow is a series of automated email or SMS messages that are triggered after a customer completes a purchase. So it's an opportunity to engage your customers, build a relationship with them and to convince them to do another purchase at your store. So the goals of a post-purchase flow. First of all, to reduce the buyer's remorse in the period between the paying part and the delivery part. Honestly, it takes a while uh, for people to get their um, to get their order delivered after paying. And within this phase, this is a really important phase where people will get buyers from more. So they'll think, hey, do I really need this product? Um, should I have purchased this? Et cetera, et cetera. So with your post-purchase flow, you want to make sure that you, you'll reduce this buyer remorse so people are happy and anticipating on, their, on the delivery of their, their order. You also want to provide your customers with all the necessary shipping information, again, to reduce this buyer remorse because uh, it might be the people uh, don't know what the shipping times are. That happens a lot. And um, yeah, with your post purchase flow, you want to give them all the information they need so they know exactly when their order is coming and what to expect from it. You also want to provide customers with all necessary product information and make them excited about it. So again, build the anticipation towards the delivery of their package. So give them a tutorial on how to, on how to use the product and um, you might think that, hey, that's not, need, that's not really necessary for my product, but um, you really think about uh, a new customer and um, what's the information that they need to use your product in the best possible way. So use that information and give that information to them before they receive their, their package. And um, again, this makes them want to have the product even sooner and builds that anticipation and uh, makes them excited to, to, to get their package delivered. Very quick, so if you're an e-commerce brand owner and you're doing over 25k a month of revenue and you need some help with your email marketing or other areas of your rotation marketing, go to the description down below, click on the link and book a call with me to discuss if we can help you generate a lot more revenue out of your retention marketing. So again, go to the link in the description and book a call now. You also want to upsell slash cross sell other products with this flow. So uh, you want to basically turn your one time purchaser, your first time buyer into a repeat customer. You can do that by cross selling different products that matches the, the product that they have already purchased. You also want to get reviews for your customers. So this flow, uh, after they've received the product, you want to ask for a review um, because again, you want to build social proof uh, for your e-commerce brand. And um, the only way that you can get social proof is by asking people, asking your customers to leave a review. And we'll discuss that later down the line in this video. You also want to introduce or promote your reward system. So if you have a reward system, which you should have as an e-commerce brand, you want to introduce that um, with this flow so uh, people can uh, collect points and spend those points. And that just works really, really well to increase the customer lifetime value. Personalization is key. So you don't want to send the exact same post purchase flow to a first time buyer and to a customer we've ordered five times before. So make a separate flow or use a conditional split or so you can send different messages to first time buyers and repeat customers and or make a conditional split based on reward points. So um, yeah, you can basically decide what you want to do if you want to split between the amount of purchases or based on the rewards points that people might have or you can use them both in a certain way. Uh, for example, um, if you have people who have purchased multiple times before, then you can make a second split for those people based on the reward points. Uh, because after you someone with a lot of rewards points, you don't want to give them an incentive, for example, to buy again, because they've purchased before, they know your product, they know your brand, so they don't need a discount to purchase again. Uh, while for example, someone who's purchased the second time, it might be that this person needs a bit more push to, to get them purchased again. So um, that's why splitting based on a rewards point is a good thing to use. Another personalization tip, make a trigger split based on the product that they've purchased. So you can provide them with specific product tips slash how to. So as mentioned before, one of the goals of a post purchase flow is to provide them with all the necessary product information, but it might be that you have a store with a lot of different products. So in that case, it makes sense 
to make a trigger split based on the product that they've purchased so they get the exact right information they need for their specific order. So how to create a high converting post purchase flow? So let's first discuss the flow filters. So people will enter this flow when they've placed an order. Um, the flow filters that we like to use in general is that has not been in the flow at any time uh, because this flow we like to split it up between first time buyers and people who are repeat customers who make separate flows for that. You can also use as I mentioned before a conditional split so we like to make a separation with that with our flows. So in this case, what you'll see is that place order equals one over all time. So this is for first time buyers. Obviously, if you want to make this flow for returning customers, you can put something like uh, placed order is above one over all time. Um, and then you also don't have to use that has not been the flow at any time because it could be that it's a third time buyer, four time buyer, etc., etc., and you still want to send them this flow. And also what you can do is cancel order zero times in starting the flow. Because it could be that someone has placed an order, but after that, they canceled it for, for whatever reason, and then you don't want to send them the rest of this flow, obviously. One thing that's a bit of confusing for a lot of people is that there are two uh, triggers that you can use for your post-purchase flow. So the first one is placed order. So this is one uh, once the customer has purchased, or you can use the fulfilled order trigger, which means that the order has been shipped. Some people like to use the fulfilled order trigger for the post-purchase flow. Uh, we generally use place order um, unless, uh, for example, a, a brand has a really long shipping time that it makes sense to use some emails of this flow uh, for a separate flow where the trigger is fulfilled order. So be aware of that, that there's a difference between those triggers and the timing is different as well. So the first email, we want to send the first email 50 minutes after placing the order. Uh, some people like to do that immediately after purchasing. That's in, then a choice with you, what you can do. We would like, we'd like to wait a little bit uh, for uh, the reason that you're already setting like um, order confirmation emails, etc., which are automated inside Shopify. Uh, so we don't want to spam them with a lot of emails uh, in the beginning. So that's why we want to wait like 50 minutes after placing their order. And with this email, we want to send a thank you message from the founder of your brand. So the goal is to create a relationship with this new customer or returning customer and to reduce buyer's remorse so thank them for purchasing and tell why your brand is so special so provide them with shipping information link to your faq page and offer help if they have any questions of course the content of this email is different for someone uh, who's purchasing for the first time compared to someone who's purchased before uh, for a, a first time buyer obviously you want to um, tell them more about your brand because why it's so special for a returning customer that doesn't make sense because they already know your brand so in this case, you just want to thank them for buying again, give them some shipping information if necessary, and uh, offer help if they have any questions. One day later, we want to send the second email. So in this email, we want to provide your customers with all necessary product information and make them excited about it. So this will make people excited, reduce buyers and worse, and make sure that they, that they will use the product in the right way. Uh, so you get less returns and people are more happy about your brand and about your product. Then X days later, so based on the shipping times and the product, we want to send a, an email where we ask for a review. Also, the timing for this email depends on your shipping times and on the specific product that you're selling. So uh, it might make sense to send this email two days after receiving their order, or it makes more sense to send this email uh, a month after receiving their order. Obviously, again, that depends on the niche and the specific product. But with this email, you want to ask for a review build social proof for your brand so at this point your customer has received the product and had time enough to use it this is the perfect moment to ask for a review give people an incentive as well to leave a review um, now people are more likely to leave a review at your store and you have a returning customer so it's a win-win situation for you one tip connect your um, review system so if it's stamped looks just me yotpo etc etc to clavio so there's an integration between the softwares so you can utilize that with the specific email or even better use Clavio reviews with a new function um, in the summer of 2023. So I uh, really recommend it to use that as well. You can also skip this email for this flow and make a separate flow for your review request. And uh, yeah, you can make multiple follow-ups in this case with, with SMS messages, for example. Um, so yeah, you can integrate into your post purchase flow or you can make a separate flow for this. Uh, it kind of depends on your strategy on how important it is for you to get reviews. If you want to make like 
uh, a lot of follow-ups that makes more sense to um, yeah, make a separate flow for this. Then four days later, we now want to introduce people to your reward system if you have this. So they know your brand, they know your product, they know you rock. We now want to turn them into a returning customer. So introduce your reward system. People love to collect points and spend them. So this is the ultimate customer lifetime value booster. Make sure to not only give away points for ordering a new product at your store, but for every single action they take that involves your brand. So for example, for leaving a review. In that case, it would make more sense to send this email before your uh, review request email and use a points bonus and send as an incentive instead of a discount. So uh, that's just a quick hack that you can use as well. So a rewards, uh, so a rewards and referral system is a really great thing to, to use for your e-commerce brand. Four days later again, we now want to cross sell different products. So you liked X, you may like this. So give three options that uh, people would like to have or where you think that they would like to have based on their uh, the previous order. So look into your customer data to see which products matches and give them three options that you want to cross sell. You can split test a, a version with and a version without an incentive. So see what works better for your brand, not only conversion wise, because probably an incentive works better conversion wise, uh, but also margins wise, because it has to make sense for your brand, of course. So it could be that offering an incentive gives you a higher conversion, but it also costs your margin. So you have to find a sweet spot with that. Um, you can also use your reward system for this so people can, can collect points with this. Um, and if you're using a discount code, I would suggest using a 40 hour deadline to create some urgency with it. And you can utilize that with the last email of this flow as well. So the sixth email of this flow one day later. So in the previous email um, that yeah, you want to rem remind people of the previous email and the incentive that you gave. So say it's only valid for 25, uh, 24 hours only use a lot of urgency with this last email and convince the customer that this cross sell product is perfect for them. Especially for first time buyers, this email is vital. Getting them from a first time buyer to a returning customer is crucial for your e-commerce brand. So after that, it just gets much easier. It's way easier to get a person who has purchased two times before to make them do a purchase again compared to a first time buyer to a repeat customer. So um, yeah, that's why the fifth and sixth, sixth email of this flow is really important. Cross sell them different products and get them returning to your store. And that's it. This is how you create a high converting post purchase flow for your e-commerce brand. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on email marketing, SMS marketing, and how to maximize your email revenue for your e-commerce brand. Hope you liked this video and I hope to speak to you soon on the next one.